This is the July 22nd meeting of the Conway Board of Selectmen. Uh, we're being videotaped by Frontier Community Access Television for viewing later by our residents and the public. First item on the agenda, minutes for the last meeting. Has everybody had a chance to go over the minutes? Yes, I have. Any changes? No additions? changes at all. Okay. Uh, I'll abstain. I wasn't here. That's oh. true. You weren't here. Okay. All right. I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes for yes. Monday, July 8th. Yes, yes. Do I have a second? Yes. All in favor? Okay. All right. And one of the you know, the top. Next, uh, next item on the agenda, we have four warrants. We have a vendor warrant for $277,994, payroll warrant of $99,386, payroll deduction warrant of $24,661. Uh, those are all for fiscal 220. And then we have a student activity fund warrant for fiscal 2019 for $2,838. All right. Uh, do I have a motion to approve those warrants? So moved. Okay. All in favor? Yes. Okay. We have a second? Second. Second. All in favor? Right. Okay. Meetings attended. Phil, any meetings? Yeah, brief um, meeting with the superintendent uh, of schools to, among other things, the uh, our water tank at the grammar school has been inserted and passed all of its inspections and is fully operational, and that issue is all resolved. resolved. Does it pass your taste test? It apparently. It okay? I, I thought it tastes. Uh, yeah, it tastes good. It tastes good. <laughs> good water. Okay. All good. good. Okay. All good. The only thing that's left to determine is whether there's any further reimbursement for out-of-pocket expenses. I don't know where that ever left off with you, Tom, about bottled water and whatever. They, they've but taken off the bottled water charge. Did they? A, a number of bottled water charges, yeah. All right. A little over $1,000. That I don't know. I don't know what else there was that's outstanding, but um, people were glad that yeah. the, thing is, the thing is done. Okay. So, uh, Though we are waiting a little bit longer to put it on uh, the warrant for payment, just because it took a couple of weeks, you know, for the taste to come out last mm -hmm. time. So we just want to be sure. Okay. And uh, the company knows that. They, they know mm -hmm. our, our timetable for paying. Okay, good. And then should have had a bunch, should have had state mediation results to offer, but we're still in scheduling uh, 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 purgatory. <laughs> um, and uh, we, we, we had a bunch of dates that the parties agreed on, and we couldn't get the mediator for them, and the mediator responded with dates that nobody could go to and mm. whatnot. Mm. Um, okay. But there's an outside chance that the 5th of August, uh, there would be one that starts at 5 o'clock. If so, you would not see me here for that meeting. So. Okay. But I won't know that till the week before. Yeah, okay. Robert, you had any? We had a meeting last week of the Cable Advisory Committee Still moving towards our new uh, fr franchise uh, with with Comcast, and, and there isn't anything terribly exciting. Uh, um, and what we'll be talking about later today with the FCC issue, we, we're not right now talking to Comcast about that. Mm -hmm. Depending on how it all shakes out, that'll be an issue, but not something that we know enough about to talk to them about that. Are we trying um, to ne negotiate a contract that'll be? terminus with uh, Deerfield, Sunderland, and Waitley? Uh, um, our lawyer does not recommend that. Really? Uh, yeah. Uh, and I Bill, was, Bill Solomon doesn't recommend that? Right. He recommends Why? we stick to a 10-year agreement that, that, that what is happening with cable and the FCC and this whole thing um, is causing so many changes that we would be better off trying to get the full 10 years. And that, that seven years from now, we may not be signing, you know, we, we don't know what the cable world will be. So his advice is that, 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 that it's no difficulty, really, us being slightly out of step with them. It's a little easier for us because they then, if there's any new ground, they would break the new ground and we would come along and, you know, take but advantage of that. What's the impact but, on them as a result of that? Yeah, it's no impact. Uh, the FCC thing? No, on uh, uh, FCAT. No, the contract. Uh, this is this is just our contract with 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 Comcast. Comcast. 
So we could have a, originally we had thought we should try to have a, like a seven year agreement this time so that our agreement would end at the same time as Deerfield, Waitley, and Sunderland, and then we could have a four town agreement. Instead, they have their three town agreement and we're two, two or three years behind them. But, but that then, contract with Comcast is what funds FCAT. That's right, and we'll have our franchise agreement. Our, our contract doesn't run out for over a year. So, so we'll have our contract finished in time. That there will be no impact on FCAT. I think the argument for joining together was that the more entities that are negotiating a contract at the same time, the more powerful your negotiating position is. Um, it, and it sounds as though that's not a sufficient consideration according to counsel? No, no. Now that they spent all the money and put put all the put and put and built build out the whole town, they're not gonna just ditch us. We have no power at all in this contract. I mean right. to call this a negotiation is silly. Uh, you know, they are they make us an offer and we say thank you. Could we petition the state to move to another carrier? <laughs> well, we don't, we don't, we don't. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the, that seems to be the only alternative. The only we, we would have to find Comcast pretty much out of breach of their contract, and they work hard not to ever be out of breach of their contract. Well, yeah, but in in the process of negotiating a new contract, if we couldn't reach agreement with them, then our only option would be to try to get something else, which is a high hurdle to. To. Ten years ago, Buckland tried holding Maybe. off on coming to an agreement with them. And it only meant that all of the improvements that Comcast had promised to make were delayed by three years until <laughs> Buckland finally signed. And so. I imagine it would be easier if the towns were on the border of another uh, service area. I, I, I suspect that the carriers have an agreement amongst each other not to impinge on someone's territory. And from what I hear from the other towns, we should be lucky that we have Comcast mm -hmm. compared with yes. Charter and Time Warner, yeah. who are much worse. So. Yeah. Okay, just, so, just, no, you, just trying to get all the issues yeah, out we, there. We, just, we have so little power, it's funny to call it a negotiation. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Bob. All right, let's see. I attended the, um, the MMA Personnel and Fair Labor Policy Committee meeting, and uh, I'm very happy that we don't have some of the problems, personnel problems, that some of these other towns have. They're big. Mm. We don't have them. I attended a vet Veterans uh, Services meeting last week, very informative meeting. Um, I want to give you some information on that, Tom, to put on our website. Okay. And uh, I had a FERCOG council meeting last week, too. What was that? Oh. Is that just quarterly? That's quarterly, yeah. yeah. And what takes place there? I always wondered. Well, you never uh, talk about it. You don't have to. Just normally, uh, you, you know, we, we, we set policy moving forward. Uh, we approve the budget. Unfortunately, this time we could not approve the budget because we didn't have a, a financial quorum. Uh, one of our big players didn't show up, so there wasn't enough of a weighted um, mm. average to basically approve the uh, the budget. So we'll have to do it at the next meeting. So, but anyway, uh, public comment. Do I have public comments? No public comments. Okay, that's good. Next item. Guilford Fund. Melissa Alice requesting funds for dependent medical care. Come on over. How you doing? Joan O'Rourke. Nice, nice to meet you. Bob. Bill Cantor. Um, so I have a question. Um, I'm going to I'm here actually with court, court order. Um, my, this came up in court, this fund, um, to help fund. I have two daughters with hearing aids. Um, it doesn't seem, uh, it's a recent separation. It doesn't seem I can apply for. Um, he's ordered to pay two thirds of all expenses left over, such as the hearing aids, and I'm ordered to pay one third. I think the intention of the court order, which I have here, is to have the whole thing funded if we could. Um, but 
according to the criteria, it seems like he, uh, he's not in my household and I just can fill it out for myself. So that I'm asking, I suppose, um, for my one third of um, the funds of the hearing aids, and if if able, if I'm able to um, braces, um, I don't know if that's part of what you can help me with. Okay, wh what's the what's the amount, um, Melissa? Um, one third of the court order for um, the hearing aids is one thousand seven hundred twenty-six and sixty-six cents. My my one third of braces is eight hundred and eighty dollars. Okay, so for your one third, it's it's seventeen hundred and twenty six. Yes. Okay. And then, for, and then and then the braces are additional. It, yes. Um, I don't know if I could um, have help with that. Also, uh, just I'm just uh, starting off on a sure. in a in a pile of debt. I'm standing on my own two feet. I have all four. I have four kids in the house. So are there, are there rules? I, I mean, it, I don't know the fund seems pretty open. Pretty unspecified. If you're going to talk about um, medical conditions of specific identified individuals, you got to do it in executive session. Mm -hmm. It's like, just I mean, I suppose they could waive that, but like, that's. I mean, I, I, do, you, do you know what I mean? It's like you're like this is camera, like people all in town, like everybody in town can Correct. watch this, and Correct. it's like, I'm, um... it's like I don't, I, like it's, I'm, I'm, it's deeply personal stuff. It is like, deeply personal stuff. Um, I want to respect that. Yes. Well, we're going to have an executive session later on. We could, we could, we should, we should post this specifically. Okay. All right. Do you have a time timeline that you? I I don't. The the um the hearing aids um are something that they suggest you pay for in advance, and are for the a full amount is um ten thousand. One hundred and eighty dollars for the—that's the full amount of hearing aids and ear molds we we need. Um, Five thousand is covered by insurance for the two girls. Um, yes. So, John, can, can we ask her to stick around and talk? And uh, yeah, well, we, we we can't do it in an executive it. session tonight because we haven't posted it. Oh, that's right. Is that two weeks? So we'll have to do it in two okay. weeks. You can come back in two weeks. But just weeks. as long as we have. As long as we have copies of your paperwork mm -hmm. and and the monetary requests, uh, you can give that to Tom, and then we can we can do that at an executive session uh, next time. Around. That just means without the camera rolling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sounds good. And, and so you have the forms that you filled out. Yes. Yeah. Great. Yeah, I can make you all copies of everything. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you, thank you Melissa. Thank you. Thanks for doing it. <laughs> Yeah, if you want to use the copier in the back, you can go back and okay. do that. Thank you. Sure. Okay. To the, way back and to the left. And there are lights uh, just to the left as you go in. Okay, we don't have uh, the other person coming in, I guess, or no. I guess we'll table that. Okay. How are we going with policies about this? Well, Remember we'll, we have, to, we'll have to discuss this in executive session. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, next item is the... A term correction appointment of uh, Denise Storm uh, for the Conway Grammar School for term ending May 11th to 20. And th those are those are two different forms. I don't know what Lisa worked out with Lori about the, the proper form. Um, one of them refers to tonight's meeting. One of them refers to the meeting at which you first appointed her. So I figure if you sign them both, <laughs> then we're covered, and Lori can use whichever form. So she feels one has the wrong date. Is that yeah, the wrong date of the meeting at which the select board made this particular appointment. You appointed her, but it was for um, our mistake, uh, three-year term, uh, instead of to the next election. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So, so I, I I do have a question about the language, and it's not um, uh, that that we use with these standard appointment languages mm -hmm. in the school. So we do it to the date of the election, and I totally get that. Um, the problem is that the school committee usually meets the second Thursday of the month, so that, that um, which, can, which can be the same date of the election, or it can be the, and mm -hmm. the past couple years we run into sort of issues where the person that's relieved of duty is out of there, 
but the person that's coming on hasn't been able to get sworn in and hasn't been able to get, to, and so it, and we like really need that vote because May is a real critical to get all the end of the year votes in and everything. So I, I was wondering if there's a way to put May 11th or the first meeting is whatever, to, is to, to finesse that language for the, just for the school committee appointments, just so that we always uh, have. I don't know, so that's a question for the town clerk. Didn't really want that person relieved mm -hmm. of duty until the next person is ready to go. So it would be the, the first meeting after the election. Yeah. Then, yeah. Or something like well, something you like that. Well, could always have your meeting the next Thursday on in May or something. Yeah, that's like that. a huge thing. To, <laughs> those those things are scheduled. That's a whole conference of by itself to do scheduling. And all right, is there any is there any need to, to do these tonight? Uh, Sign these tonight. Uh, I, we, I'm, I'm okay not? signing. I don't know. Yeah. Let's, let's, okay. Let, 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 right, yeah. If, Let's if do this, and yeah, then, then we'll fine. see if, if there's a change, change, we'll change. It is All a right. minor, relatively minor issue in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. You're talking All about right. the language at the next time this Well, yeah, occurs. I mean, yeah. All right, I'll make a motion that we, uh, we sign the corrected appointment of Denise Storm to the Conway Grammar School Committee for term ending uh, May 11th of 2020. Do I have a second? Yes. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Okay, we have three appointments. We have uh, Beth Polakowski to the uh, Agricultural Commission for a term ending June 30th of 2022. She, she uh, may be coming in at 6.30. She may be? I, um, okay. She, she, she's, she's supposed to be coming in, and, and I think I, I said that we'd still be going at 6.30. So okay. So we'll, we'll just table hers. So we're a little ahead of... Uh, uh, and we're looking at um, approving Michael Merritt as the soccer director for fiscal year 2020. That's Thank a, you, Michael. Yeah, that's an yes. excellent... Uh, yeah. Do I have uh, a motion to approve Michael for that sure. appointment? Okay. Aye. We have a second? Second. Yes. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Yes. Okay. You moved it. Okay. Good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I second that. Okay, and we have a uh, the appointment of best Beth Gershman um, to the Mohawk Trails Woodlands Partnership Board for a term expiring June thirtieth of twenty twenty two. I'll make a motion that we appoint Beth to that. Um, to the Mohawk Trails Woodlands Partnership Board for the term ending June 30th, 2022. So moved. Okay, second? Yeah. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Yeah. Okay. And we'll wait on Elizabeth if she comes in. So Tom, does she want to be called Betsy or Beth? You have Betsy in here, but Yes. <laughs> yes. Bessie? I, just when she comes in so we get her name right. Uh, I think it's Beth. I, I, think it's, I, I don't Beth. think it's Betsy. You think it's Beth? Yeah. No, not Beth Gershman. Betsy Polakowski. Oh. That's what I was, I, I was given to understand. She goes by Betsy. Betsy. But her name is Elizabeth. It is. Her name is Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Yes. Okay. But you refer to her as Beth, and if she comes in, we should call her by what she... You mean Elizabeth? We could call her that, too. Okay. A name with one of the most nicknames in the English language. Really? Uh-huh. <clears throat> okay. Ooh, nice etiology. Actually, somebody's coming in now. Could it be It might Betsy? very well be. That would be pretty good timing, wouldn't it? Mm. Yes, it would. Hi, come in. Hello. So it must be Elizabeth. Those are never never should stop when you walk in the room. Talk much. Hello. You were in here on a lot chillier out there. Really? Yeah. We turned the uh, air conditioner off. Yeah. 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 Y
is loud. Betsy, how are you? It's John okay. O'Rourke. Hello. Nice to meet you. Bob Armstrong. Hi. Hi. Phil Pinter. Hello. I have a seat. You do please. Hi. We so, generally don't have a lot of questions for you, although, other than to thank you very much I'm for volunteering. Yes. It's a question to uh, have the town meet you yes. uh -huh. via via video. Oh, okay. And uh, just to to say a little bit about yourself and uh, and and why you are interested in the agriculture. Oh, okay. Um, I've lived here since 1981, amazingly, from uh, since December of 81. And uh, I'm a psychologist. I'm out of town a fair amount. Uh, I'm not, uh, I, I own another house in South Hadley where I do a lot of my gardening. And uh, my, my house on Williamsburg Road is a little too wooded for that. So uh, anyway, uh, when I, I uh, emailed Jason about it, he asked me why I was interested, since I'm obviously not a farmer. And uh, although I just had a showdown with a wild turkey over my blueberries. <laughs> well done. Well, um, who won? Yeah. Win some, you lose some. Actually, yeah. my lawn guy over there. This was in South Hadley, and I'm inspecting my blueberries, and I noticed this large thing on the opposite side of the blueberry bush, and it's, of course it's a full-size adult wild turkey who's about as tall as I am. <laughs> so uh, anyway, it knows me, however, and it's slightly intimidated. So, uh, however, my lawn guy said he saw a bunch of black feathers on the road a few days later, or so I think the traffic got them. But, uh, oh, well, that's yeah. a shame. Anyway, uh, so when I talked when I talked to Jason about it, um, he asked me why, and I said, "Well, the, I'm the uh, I'm the granddaughter of uh, four Polish peasants who did a lot of farming okay. in uh, in Poland, and um, uh, my maternal grandfather, when he came to this country, uh, ran a chicken and egg business in uh, off Memorial Drive in Chicopee, which is now, of course, hardly a chicken farm area. Yeah, which came first? I have no idea. Uh, but sorry, my, um, that was pathetic. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was. I, but the thought, yeah, I, it was. It was yeah, yeah. The interesting <laughs> thing about it is that in the 1920s, my mother, who was about six years old at the time, used to drive around Chicopee in my grandfather's Model T, and they delivered uh, chickens, live chickens, in burlap bags. Mm, to okay. housewives, because that's how you made sure that your chicken was fresh in 1925. <laughs> it was very fresh. <laughs> it was extremely fresh, and you killed it in the backyard. I think mm -hmm. that's astounding. A skill that we would all the things that you were expecting to know that that you know that you were expecting to know at that point in time that you don't know now. Mm. So, uh, <laughs> now you know cellophane and styrofoam. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, so I have a, a fairly strong interest in farming activities in general. So I thought it might be something interesting. Great. Well, thank so you. I have thank a little you, more Betsy. time to do that now. That's I'm a psychologist. Answer. I do a little bit of work, but not uh, not as much as I used to. Okay. Great. Any other awesome. questions for Betsy? Maybe. Excellent. Excellent recruit for the agricultural. Yeah. Profession. Really, you really need. I can sit there and deal with all their mental health issues. <laughs> <laughs> Which, which farmers yeah. have a lot of these I would days. Carry I carry you around with me all the time. Do. Are you yeah. kidding they probably me? Probably do. That or mediation. <laughs> no, that, that's wonderful. Yeah. And here since 1981, that's almost nativist. That's almost, Practically. Yeah, that's practically. Yeah, that home. area down there has changed quite a bit. My late father always said it should secede and go to Williamsburg. Uh, it are, makes a lot more sense. Is the Island of Town feeling any closer to Conway now that they have broadband? Is it? Healed the wounds at all? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Are they getting Conway cable channels? Or are they yeah. getting? Yeah, yeah. They well, are. No, I don't know that for because sure. Because I, I believe. I think at one point they were not going to be getting Conway. That's right. They were going to be getting Williamsburg, yeah. which didn't make sense because you need to see meetings like this. Well, the the difference is between whether you want a Conway phone number or a Williamsburg phone number. Well, but you can have any phone number. Yeah. Right. There, I mean, there are people next door to me who had a, a Conway phone yeah. number. I happen to have a Williamsburg phone number, which is what I was given when I first moved. When you move your number to yeah. Comcast, though, they don't care what number you move. But, uh, but if you looked at Channel 12 or Channel 23, do you see Frontier I don't have community? Comcast at this point. <laughs> Access television. Yeah. That's a good question. Okay. I'm not exactly sure that it's available. Uh, he... The guy was doing something on the pole on my property, and I said, oh, so does this mean I get cable? And he said, no, this is just step one. Mm -hmm. However, well, you I did see You could get it a while back. By now, yeah. by now, you yes. could get it. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Well, I'll make a motion that we uh, approve um, Betsy 
uh, to the uh, Agricultural Commission for a term ending June 30th of 2022. Is that, the, is that the name that you like to be known as, Betsy, as opposed to? Elizabeth? I always was. This was a, yeah, it, yeah, Elizabeth is just my, my back. I'll second name. it. Okay. I'm second. I'm third. Won't I? Yes, yes. Okay. Wonderful. Do you know Jason? No, I don't. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, with the right to farm bylaw, one of the functions of the Ag Commission is um, trying to resolve disputes between people based on the agricultural uses of their property. So That's an important thing that comes up regularly, geese, horses, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They haven't had too much action, but when they do, it's, it can be a real dispute. <laughs> oh yeah, well even in South Hadley they've had concerns over the smell of manure which a lot of people don't understand. If you build your condos adjacent to somebody who's still farming in Calvary. South Adley, there will mm. be a manure smell. Yeah. 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 Much, much better, better to have the farmers. Agriculture Commission be able to resolve it than like have, it, have the police, you know, have our police chief need to resolve it in the court system. So. I would think so, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Well, Good thank job. you for coming in, Betsy. Mm. Pleasure meeting you. Yeah, nice to meet you all. You're welcome Take to stay. This is open yeah. meeting. And, <laughs> We're not booting you out or anything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and I will get you a, a letter and you come in and get sworn in. And that's, oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah. And would that happen here? Yeah, uh, the office all the way in back, the town clerk. Okay. That's that. And, and she would have I, to do the conflict of interest training. I, I assume. Yes. Yes. Yeah, oh, yes. Wow, that's, uh, conflict of interest training. State. Yes, you can't state sell your vast influence. <laughs> that has become a stress-free thing, though. You used to get scored and penalized for wrong answers. Now they just keep you on the computer until you get the answer right. That's right. The, the test helps you along if you don't know the answer. Okay. I think I'll take off. Okay. I was right. planning on not it's staying. Absolutely fine. Like a okay. and take off. I guess so. I guess so. Cool. Thank, Thank you, Betsy. You. Appreciate nice your vote. Nice to meet you. Incidentally, if anybody would like to stay in Manhattan, I'm a member of the Cornell Club of New York, and okay. I can put up guests twice a year. Fantastic. And it's in the ah. theater district. Oh my right God. off Fifth Avenue. Beautiful. I want to stay in Manhattan. With a, with a free <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, there's Betsy. a dress code, but it, you don't you can't go in in a T-shirt with anything written on the front. Hmm. But you also can't tip anybody. There's a no tipping policy. Wow. Oh, in New York. So yeah. this is a Cornell University. Yeah, it's a Cornell Club of New York. It's a it's a small forty seven room hotel, but it has a great gym, and two restaurants. And uh, all right, I'm like, I'm going to call you. Anyway, well, you do have to there. pay, but it's only about three hundred and ninety. I so always stay at a hostel up nothing. at one hundred and third. Do you really? It's about fifty dollars a night. Oh, it's, it's okay. A, well, no. this is slightly the more Hilton luxurious. with <laughs> with with my cousin that works at the Hilton and gets the employee discount. The Hilton is still four hundred bucks. Yeah, there. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now this is a full, and it's not a continental breakfast. It's a it's a uh, gigantic uh, sausage, bacon, eggs, muffins, fruit, mm. granola, blah blah blah, served on white linen tablecloths, Cornell china. Well, I just go up and serve yourself. Oh, great! But uh, but you can walk to almost anything, and you can walk to Times Square, and walk from Penn Station or Grand Central. Anyway. Okay. So, okay. Thanks, Betsy. Great. Thanks, Betsy. Yeah, that's one of my little <laughs> things I can offer. <laughs> Have a good night. Yeah. And thank you best. again. Okay. Next item is the uh, the signing of the contract for procurement work on the town storage barn. Looks and good. I, I should have put it in uh, in the agenda. It is a contract with the Franklin Regional Council oh, for of Governance. Right. Yeah. Uh, and this is again because we do have two separate projects now. We have to have two contracts. With yes. Cog to. Uh, I thought it was worded very well. I, I approve thoroughly. Okay. I'll make a motion that we approve these contracts. Do I have a second? Yes. All in favor? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and there's just two copies of the contract, one for them and one for us. I'll send them both in, they'll send one back. So that's, that's how that'll work. And we'll get uh, Ken.
This is this is like. Are you the only signature? I mean. Oh, we don't have three. No. Oh. So th so, that looks like you would print I your just name. Looked at, I looked at three. I looked at three lines. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, we could all scribble our names here and there, but. Chief, how are you? Good. How'd Conway survive the heat? Just fine, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I have to talk to Submerged. The, I have to talk to the EMTs about it. The river was packed from end to end of town. Boy, oh boy. A lot of people go in the meadow over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, next item on our agenda is no parking on the road at Bargewell's Ferry Bridge. Signs, towing, and complaints. Tom, yeah, what do we have on that? Uh, you've got two uh, emails that we got. Uh, well, one was a phone call that, that Lisa reported on to me, and I forwarded it to you. And, and the other uh, came in directly. Um, the problem there was that uh, residents were surprised <clears throat> that they couldn't block the road if there was uh, a, no, not a uh, no parking sign there. That's that's taking um, the town's point of view, perhaps, um, being being more judicious. People people felt aggrieved that they were being towed for um, where they could not see no parking signs. The parking, the no parking from this point up had been removed by somebody mm -hmm. and thrown up on the back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, like somebody who wanted to park there? Somebody who wanted to park there. It was there earlier in the week uh -huh. because we were running that youth camp that week. And when I came that way from BJ's with a load of groceries, the sign was there. That Saturday, the sign disappeared. And how he doesn't want to bury him deeply in a cement footing because they like to remove him for snow removal? Well, they, they, they don't feel that there was a need for it, but uh, so I spoke with Ron after this incident of not being able to get cars through there. And Randall was working that Saturday with complaints, so he went down and people were obviously nowhere to be found, so the cars had to be towed to open the road up. Um, All the cars are just the ones that were... Blocking the road? Those that were blocking the road. Yeah. So, so you did try to ascertain if there was anybody around to yep. Uh, yep. say I'm this. I'm sure some, no one some, stays very some, long. Some people actually did come up. Oh. A few, oh. A few did. Okay. Uh, their cars were already on the wreckers. They did have to pay to get the cars off the wreckers, but they were not towed. Oh. Um, and I spoke with several of these people later on that after that incident, explain to them why it happened. When this happens, how long, I mean, the complaints here are all sort of like, we've been parking here for a long time. Well, they may have been parking there, but they weren't blocking the road necessarily. Uh -huh. Once they start blocking the road, so you can't get emergency vehicles down there, you can't get a second vehicle down yeah. through, then you've got a public safety issue. Yeah, yeah, sure. You know? um, so, and, how do I, I gotta tell you that we've never seen this kind of volume. But apparently it's Deerfield, advertised. Deerfield the squeezes state. the balloon and it expands. Well, up apparently it's up been there. advertised in the state recreation website. Really? So that one of the people told me. I couldn't find it personally. Mm -hmm. I looked for it. Um, but that's what I'm told. How are we gonna replace the sign? We already did. We placed a sign, and I spoke with Ron about this that following Monday, and suggested perhaps we put stencils on the pavement. Good idea. Which they did. Can't. They okay. got it done. We had zero problems this past week. Oh, good. good. Well, uh, all right. What I was wondering was how long it takes yeah. for the idea of it being yeah. a long-term thing. I said I. Would have to guess that between social media and that stenciling on a road seemed to have done. Uh, how many cars were towed in all? I believe eleven. Were towed. Mm. Eleven. Mm. All right. Wow. Yeah. And I explained to the owners that the town 
receives no compensation from the tow companies. There's no contract with the tow companies. We merely call when we have an issue with a blocked road. We get the closest, nearest, quickest tow company we can get, and they remove the problem. Anything to do with the cost, you have to deal with the tow company. The town gets no. So it, so it wasn't no just an issue of, of parking where they shouldn't. It was an issue of blocking the, the road. Yeah, you couldn't, you and, couldn't and, get the vehicle. Okay, down. yeah. All right. Well, that's good. Is there anywhere to park? There's the Sunday, the fall, the day after these cars were towed, I was down, I, I got a call, so I was, I went on duty, and I patrolled it. I was down there four different times. There was never an issue that day. There was 12 vehicles at the bottom. There was seven vehicles up under the power line, the pull off. Nobody yep, on yep. the road. So the pull off is legal up, up above, right above John's house on the other side. Technically, probably not. Um, right. It's a right of way for somebody, yeah. as well as under the power line, yeah. you know, halfway up the hill. But on a weekend, the chance of the power company yeah. accessing it are probably slim. But certainly, if they wanted to get in there, they would be towing vehicles. Sure. So that's at their own risk. Yeah. So the, it's, it's no different on the Shelburne side. Um, there was 23 cars on the Shelburne side along the edge of the river that Sunday. And they had parked right down, and they had blocked access to the railway. I'm sure if the railway wanted to get into their roadway, that they would have let the vehicles go. So, so, so they're going at their own risk. So your your reply to the people who are saying, you know, we're 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 complaining because we were towed in a place where there wasn't uh, any notification that we might be towed because there was no parking sign. My, my reply is that you cannot park your car anywhere where you're blocking a public way. I don't care what town it is. Mm -hmm. Put your car somewhere in a different town and see what, how, how long it stays there while we're blocking a lane. Sure. Yeah. And what I noticed going past there on Saturday and Sunday was that um, that the little spot where you do park right at the end of the bridge, yep. that that was really, really, and so the the new business that's using the Boydens, which got you know whatever I don't, yeah. but when they drop people off and need to, they themselves blocked like I we actually had to wait the one time about five almost five minutes because they had just pulled in and we had to wait for them to get all get out of their little minivan and, and offload and there was no other place for them to do it yeah. but to block traffic. And, but at the same time, like that's part of the problem. What was it like across the bridge? Did you go across? Across the bridge was mayhem as well as we went across there. There was, yeah, there was all I can't the, believe there's room for 20 It was mayhem. Cars. It, it, it went, it went <laughs> across the bridge was, you could barely get by all the way across and up the railroad yeah. tracks that was going. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that was just. Uh, Sheldon will probably end up dealing with that at some point. But it's, the, it's, the, it's the last place you can go with your kids for free and do something on a weekend. It really is. I mean, I have a lot of sympathy for that. Just, ah, I do too. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with them using or utilizing. Yeah. Just don't block the road. No, Chief, they can... you've, you've seen this, this email and, and yeah, you've, um, you've seen these two. Oh, you've yeah. seen both. Yeah. Okay. So. Good. I mean, we could direct them to park at the Boydens, and, and however, however that works. Well, I, I mean, know, it, but that's certainly that's a commercial enterprise. Yes. If they choose to do that, that's uh, completely up to them. Not for us to sell. No, no but it's no. an alternative. Yeah, that, that's an option that they have to. Look. You know, they they can park up above, but they got to walk. Yeah. Uh, now, did you speak to the people who wrote the emails, or should I respond to them? Which I can't I remember the name. So the one was Patrick Dowd. Um, I think I spoke with his girlfriend. I can double check. Because one of us should get back to them after this and say the select board. Yeah, there was Beth Simmons. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's one. A Shelburne resident. Yeah, I spoke with her. And her daughter. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good. So now, now you think we won't have any other problems down there? I'm hopeful. <laughs> okay, good. And and the uh, let's see the other guy was uh, Patrick Dowd. Patrick Dowd, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Okay. Thank you, Chief. I, I, I don't mind getting back to him, but if, if you have or if you would prefer to, then. No, I'll, actually, I'll call him this evening. Okay. Um, I've got two more people coming in. But I'll okay, and uh, we don't have his um, phone number here. But I believe it's on this one. Oh, okay. No, I spoke with I spoke with Nina, who was Patrick Dowd's girlfriend, and that's whose phone number we got. I spoke with her and Beth. They're okay. all they're all tied together. Okay. Probably be best to reach out to Patrick himself yeah. since he wrote the. I note. don't have Patrick. It's actually a very nice note. Yeah. I don't have Patrick's number. Okay. Well, maybe an email. And and again. It, yeah, I'll, I can email him, and then he can. Um, he wants to talk, you can send me the phone number. Okay. Thank you, Chief. You're welcome. Thanks. Have a good night. Because what, what, what he's asking for is an avenue for appeal. And the avenue for appeal, I don't know what the avenue for appeal would be. I explained yeah. to both Nina and to Beth, their appeal would be with the toy company. We didn't cite them. Oh, okay. So the gotcha. only appeal they have is for the cost of their help. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. And that appeal would be a small claims court. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, all right. Next item is uh, the tax bill insert publicity for the up and coming town academy. Is everybody seeing these? Yeah. That's, any, uh, any questions or changes on those? And, and there's just three, three of them because that's, you know, that's, that's the how size. We Print it out, and we, we send out a third of a page. Yeah, mm -hmm. I saw that, and I said, you know, that would benefit from the use of the word free. <coughs> with oh, an okay. exclamation mark sprinkled liberally throughout. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't it be free? Good heavens. Is it, nothing's, are, nothing's free except taking your kid to the river, getting towed. <laughs> All right, if there's no questions on this, I'll, I'll make a motion that we approve this tax bill insert. Do I have a second? Uh, after adding the word free? Uh, that's just a, a, a suggestion. No, I'm it's, okay. A, it's, I'm a okay. Good, it's a good idea. Sure. Yes, yeah, sure. However, however yeah. we're, we're getting the message across that, yeah. that, that you know, this is, this, is, this is a good thing. All and, right. and do I put beer after free? Do I, do I, do I have a, do I have a, no, no, don't do it. Do I have a second? <laughs> second. Yeah. All in favor. No, yes. Okay. It's Got a typical it. way to get that's this. Good. Sure. Okay. Tom, items not anticipated 48 hours in advance. Yes, um, I uh, I should have put this on the regular agenda, but I didn't actually uh, fully read the email until the next morning um, when there was a letter from Chris Collins to us. Um, I did get the email just before noon, but I posted it at two o'clock, and uh, I just saw the topic of the email. I wasn't I didn't see the deadline for applying, so I didn't put it on the uh, agenda and. Um, it does demand a response by Thursday, so okay. um, there is time pressure yeah. for getting it done. Has everybody seen this letter? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's great. Are we all set with yeah. it? Are we yeah. all right with it? Okay. I'll make a motion that we uh, approve the letter to um, uh, the FCC, uh, Secretary Dorch, and... Um, We'll sign that letter and get it off. I, I thought we should copy that to the recorder as well. That that's that's something that we that needs publicizing. The more people complain about that, the better off we are. Oh sure, yeah, that's fine. You want me to just send it to them, or should I reprint it with a CC to the recorder? No, it's okay. Your choice. We, we, you don't have to CC it. Easiest right. to scan and send. Just scan that to make a PDF. That's yeah. That's the Do I have a second? Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Yeah. Okay. My right, Tom, this um, Mass Works Infrastructure Grant application, town of Ashfield. Oh, that's not ready. It's so not ready. Yeah, it, it, ne next time we'll be fine for that. Okay, good. Um, so, is that, uh, I got a phone call from my friend in Ashfield saying, hey, yeah. we're, we're seeing you on August 1st with a joint meeting with the select board and this, that, and the other no, thing? No, 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 no. It's not a joint meeting. It's, it's myself, Tom, and our police chief uh, with their select board chair, chief. their Fire. fire chief. Uh, their fire chief, uh, select board chair, and town administrator. 
and have an initial just meeting. to prepare a joint meeting that actually has an agenda. Oh, good. Have one of the agenda be tell us what all the chemicals you're using in the water treatment plant so that if there's a deer dam dam burst, our firefighters don't get killed. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Next time Wish we had one. Uh, no, this is there should be a sign there, and the firefighters should be able to read it. The little, the little uh, diamond. Okay, this this has nothing to do with that right now. This is okay. just, just a meeting to. Uh, it's not on our agenda. Talk to All them right. about. Yeah. Um, I had I, yeah. I did have a few grievances about that whole situation from back. I forget what they were. I'll have to grievances look. about. I forget what they were, but I remember being aggrieved. I see. Okay. All right. What was it? Um, well, the, the we'll, damn thing. We'll, yeah, we'll yeah, 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 we'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, next, yeah. next time. Yeah, August fifth. Tom, do you have an update for us? Uh, I do. Okay. Uh, why do I only have two copies? I must have three. All right, we'll, 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 we'll share. share one. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. It's all right. Um, in committee news, the Open Space Committee requested some highway equipment, a rock sifter, moved from the River Bend Meadow, and Ron has taken care of that. He also plans to spread out the pile of stones and dirt toward Sheldon Falls Road, which should help improve the aesthetics of the entrance to the site. Okay. Mm, he was doing that the last couple of days. Yeah, yeah. Um, the planning board has requested a joint meeting in late summer or early fall. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> early fall regarding the best way to accomplish access to planning board documents currently housed in the town hall, saying they believe there is value in having historical documents, maps, and fi files archived in a way in which both the public and town officials can locate important information. We're also looking at ways of using the space in our vaults most effectively. So some well, space planning going on. If they want those accessed by the public, can't the library do something with them? Uh, that's an item for the joint meeting. Um, for departmental news, uh, I received, on behalf of the town, a gift of three original plans for the generating station for the Conway Electric Railway Ooh, Company. Wow. Uh, they're, not, they're not actually diagrams. There are three diagrams that have to do with the generator, the generation station. Um, so they're not a spec of the generators themselves, but there is some specification in there. Um, I sent them to the Historical Commission, who said that Peter Freisen is interested in getting them copied and scanned when his schedule permits. Yeah. Um, I will also notice a note that they did not express interest in being the custodian of said documents. Right. And I note that only uh, in general, and uh, not for necessarily going into it right now, but other people might take an interest in that. Um, our IT consultant... Lisa and I are reviewing town Facebook pages in preparation for a social media policy recommendation for such pages that represent town departments or committees. The immediate goal is to have all such pages use town emails as their contact information and have their passwords in case the town needs to take any action in the absence of the people who set up the pages. Right now, pages have been set up by individuals and have their personal emails and passwords an organizational Facebook page is based on a personal Facebook page and that's um, that could end up being problematic going forward. Sure. Uh, we applied this year for two different FEMA grants for Delabar Avenue work. One, the pre-disaster mitigation grant proposal has been selected for further review by FEMA, which is a step in the right direction. We have been advised not to proceed with the duplicate hazard mitigation grant proposal, which was rejected last year, and so we're not planning to move that one forward at this time. That advice came from MEMA. 
we have received an informal request to consider merging the fire departments of Conway and Asheville, as we were mentioning before. Our fire chief supports this proposal. I'm working with them, the Asheville Town Administrator, and Select Board Chairs to try to identify the issues. After I, that, I we think, anticipate a joint meeting once we get a proposal together. I, I think merging might be too strong a word. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Sharing resources. Um, something stronger than mutual aid. Yes. Um, but something shared resource agreement certainly lighter than uh, than merging. Uh, and then town meeting. Um, some items: the highway facility committee is planning to propose funding for the maintenance building. We don't know when exactly. They won't know. Probably for another two or three weeks. Um, the town clerk is planning to propose three articles for the next town meeting, raising uh, town clerk fees, one specifically for dog license fees, and providing non-criminal disposition for the failure to license dogs, which is really a public health issue and is meant to ensure that dogs get rabies shots. So, so that's, a, that's a town issue, not a state issue. The, the penalty for not licensing your dog. Yes. I'm yeah, the, the town sets the fees. Hmm. It's um, been voted down in the past many times. Because they tried overly broad instructions that would give any town employee authority to enforce the law. Hmm. So, um, the assessors are proposing to change the assessing year to the fiscal year instead of the calendar year, which it is now. Um, any other ideas for a special town meeting warrant would be welcome. Please let me know of any more. Uh, no doubt this will be an official agenda two, item soon. Two thoughts. Um, first of all, just the, I mean, the health department, and because we, we know that there's a trash, trash apocalypse coming um, changes that are going to affect people's daily existence need to be approved by town meeting or just, uh, you know, before, before you give people, the, if you're going to do the per bag, say, we're going to do the per bag at town meeting, you don't want to do it, then it goes on your taxes the other way. But you, A, it broadcast the fact that you need to throw less away and com compost more, et cetera, et cetera. And, um, and that there is an actual problem that we need to deal with. And so, so does the Board of Health make those decisions now? I've, I've talked to Marie about it. I think that um, she, I think that she agrees that it would be better to do just from the amount of negative feedback. But like they when they raised it to ten dollars a year, yeah, that and, was a and, Board of Health decision. Yes, yes. And they have the legal. They they can and they can legally impose the sticker on their own as well. I'm not. I'm just saying that as a matter of pot, like the best way to do it to get the most amount of people. Or to, uh, to to upset the least amount of people is to do it by way of town meeting, by way of saying these are your two choices: either do the per sticker so that he who throws it away pays, or do it through your property taxes where everybody pays more, and just you know let people know that it's a problem and that they have to deal with it. And I think that'll help. Um, okay. And then the other thing. The documents, when, when, when anybody gets historical documents, um, the, the, the repository in Conway is the historical society. Um, when, when you take a gift like that, you should, you should have paperwork that, that the donor signs. Um, because when you actually accept a legacy gift like this um, and you don't have any paperwork, that person can at any time come back and ask for the gift back. And if it is not in as good a shape, liability can attach. You actually can get sued for spilling the soda on, or, or, or if they claim it's not in as good a shape, whatever. So you, it, it happens, and, um, but there, uh, you, know, you get a, you get a, a gift and uh, there, should be, there should always be paperwork attached to it. That, so A, mm -hmm. so that you have a provenance to it because those types of things are also really important for researchers down the line where to come from. And all that, so that's how you get your provenance: is the donor certifies it in writing. Um, okay. And, and B, the commission has no public place to display anything, and no way for any member of the public to see anything. The society has a museum. Okay. So, all right. 
we'll figure it out. All right, next item. Um, thank you, Tom, on that. Um, concerns of the selectmen. Do we have any concerns? No concerns. Okay. Mail. What do we get in the mail? We got our um, our municipal advocate. Don't yeah. forget to read it. That's your personal folder. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just so you know. Oh, yeah. And in here, in the mail folder, oh, we got a uh, a letter to Tom Hutchison from MMA. Okay. Membership on next warrant. Okay. Oh, yeah. So that's just the annual uh, um, sign up to be a member of the MMA. Right. Um, but I thought I'd include it there so that people could look at it because it does list a bunch of things that they do um, and, and some of their accomplishments over the last year, that sort of thing. So it serves Many as a precy of, yes. of reasons why they're a useful organization. And we have a notice about something that has passed. Shelburne Falls. Iron Bridge Dinner. Was last Friday, and you you sent us a note about that. Yeah, yeah. Um, just because it was a quick deadline, yeah. uh, and that and that's not registering for it. That was last Friday. I don't think that's taking place. Isn't that uh, September? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if any of you have ever gone to it. I did. I went to it the first year when it was 25 Oh, the bridge bucks. dinner will be on the August 18th. It's a great dinner. What is, it is, but what it's is Friday a pricey it's, dinner now. I went to it when it was 25 bucks, and my daughter served me the food. It, was, it always tastes better when your kids serve you the food. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you, if you bought the tickets by the 19th, they were $50. If you buy them after the 19th, they're $75. But the dinner is August the 18th from 5.30 to 7.30 on the Iron Bridge. They sell out oh, now. That's yeah, actually a tough ticket to get. Yeah. The past few years, I couldn't believe it. I figured that was close enough regional news so that I, it serves love, this town news I'd love as well. I'd to bring, bring back our covered bridge yeah. dinner. Yeah. You know, uh, those were great. They were outstanding. They were good. There was a couple of those that, in particular that were memorable. Yes. Mike Haley. Mike Haley, our audio visuals. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The Roaring Twenties thing. Yeah. 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 It was great. We should do it again. Okay. Sounds like a volunteer. Sounds like a volunteer to make it happen. <sighs> good idea, Phil. <laughs> volunteer for that, will you? <laughs> okay, we have any announcements? No, no announcements. Okay. Our next meeting will be August the 5th here at 6 p.m. And uh, I will uh, make a motion that we go into executive session uh, under reason six to consider the purchase of real property. Um, and the chair declares that an open meeting may have detrimental effect on negotiating position of the public body. And from executive session, we will adjourn from the public meeting. Second. Second. Do I have a second? We have I, a roll call I, vote? I, Phil, yes. yes. Bob, yes. yes. And me, yes.